Take Amber. <laughs> so I love her jewelry, and then I found out that it's all for a good cause. So we had to get her on Good Day. Jennifer, you make incredible jewelry. Thank Some you. different things that you make. Let's highlight that first because you do those bar necklaces yes. that are really popular right now. You can put names on them, and people have been ordering them for, the for their high school. Yeah. What are the things that people get on those little bar necklaces? Um, I do a lot of names or children's names or like initials with hearts um, now that school has started again here um, I have like the football mama ones we do cheer ones um, and that's not all too because you do things with gems you yes. do beads you do earrings a lot of the stuff you've been doing at um, different Lodi's like farmers markets and things like that so you can showcase your jewelry and right now hundred percent of the proceeds are going to your trip to Honduras so how did this come about and what are you going to be doing there so I got the calling um, last year that um, our nonprofit and our church that we work with is going to Honduras and they want to teach jewelry making and that just happens to be what I do. So I'm going there in September for 10 days and I'll be teaching the women there how to make jewelry. We haven't quite decided what. Um, we want to do like paper beads and things like that. They have a lot of recyclables. So we want to use what they have um, so they can generate income for their families and start a small business like I have. And it's a cruise port, so they get a lot of people who are getting off of the cruise who could be able to see their jewelry, who could buy it, and it's a way for them to have sustainable income for themselves. And so you're going to be going over there. You're selling your jewelry. And if people want to buy some of this, not only can they find you at the Lodi's Farmers yeah. Markets, but where else can they find you? Um, um, I have an Etsy store. You can find it through my website, which is www.herprettythings.com. Um, and then I do other local events. I have an Instagram. That's the best way to keep up to date with where I'm at and what's going on. And then how long does it take you to do the bar necklaces if someone wanted to order one? Um, usually, um, turnaround time is between a couple days to a week, just and, depending on how they And see. when are you going to Honduras? Because they need to get those orders yeah. in before you leave. <laughs> September 30th through October 9th. Okay, and, and I should let you guys know, too. You know, I love me some jewelry, but I also like affordable. And I was telling Jennifer, in fact, people tell her, man, you could really raise your prices. She's like, no, I want to keep it affordable for people. And so the prices are great. You will spend hours on her Instagram like I did last night and I, I po posted on there I said oh girl this one's gonna cost me this is gonna cost me and I'm just waiting for the text messages because you know anytime I'm at somewhere cool people are texting me like hey can you pick that up for me can you pick that up for me so you can pick it up yourself herprettythings.com make sure that you get those orders in before they leave at the end of September her lovely family her husband's going with her as well and the kids Sorry, where do they go to school? Larson. Sorry, Larson Elementary. They're yeah. going to be a little late this morning. <laughs> Just a little late. But That's they wanted right. to see mom on TV. Do you right. blame them? No. They're getting a lesson in life this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Thanks, Candy. She does beautiful, beautiful work there. A competition at the uh, Roseville Galleria proves junk really.